Mr. Fleming, how does an author tackle the problem of selecting a name for the hero of his stories? Well, it isn't only the hero. I mean, I generally pick up names just driving through the countryside, uh, through villages and so on. You'll see an interesting name uh, over a tobacconist or chemist or something of that sort in any country in the world. But um, when I started to write these books in 1952, I wanted to find um, a name which wouldn't have any of this romantic uh, overtones like Peregrine Carruthers or whatever it might be. I wanted a really flat, quiet name. And one of my Bibles out here is uh, James Bond's Birds of the West Indies, which is a very famous uh, ornithological book indeed. And I thought, well, now, James Bond, now, that's a pretty quiet name. And so I simply stole it and used it. See, Paul actually became an actor. He uh, got hold of the old music scene. So he's very good for acting in the vocal cords um, to practice a lot, of, uh, a lot of musical technique. It does come through acting. People don't realise this. And it's good actors like Michael Caine Okay, they can do stuff like this. You've got to get it here, you've got to get it here. La, 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 la. Yes, you can feel it, can't you? The act of the suspense. Basic character actor, someone who could play a villain. Uh, a villain? Oh, uh, I have a couple of uh, good candidates here. Uh, they take direction very well. Uh, there, there is one small problem. Uh, uh, do you have any uh, problems with working with a quadriplegic? Uh, if you. Uh, can just not see the wheelchair. If you look at his face, all you see is action. I mean, this is the first man that came to mind. Me. Well, but, uh, I, I have an idea what a, a, a screen test is going to look like. It's, it's just going to look like rear window, and that's not really what I'm going for here. <laughs> a bit much. Next. Uh, I have uh, one actor here, um, but he can only be shot from the waist up because he, he's incompetent. Next. Now, I didn't say, Keep, I no, didn't say no. incompetent. Keep going. I didn't say incompetent. I said incompetent. I know what you said. I, I know what it means. Just next. Uh, well, 
I, I'm sure that the offers would roll in from the Depends company. Hey, I also have uh, a beautiful young lady here, but uh, she has a black mustache. I don't like to use the word homeless, but he doesn't have a fixed address and does feel the most comfortable uh, meeting with, uh, with, with, with uh, prospective employers at the liquor store parking lot. Of that. To get to the point where you've done a lot all. creatively, you've done not everything, but you've done a lot. And so what you do, you just, you don't lose it, you don't stop, you're not burnt out yet, so you just keep going and you do what everyone else has done, except you do it right. Could you wait possibly 90 days until his parole was up? Because he's not supposed to leave the neighborhood. He doesn't like telephone. Does he have problems learning his lines in general or just when he's around telephones? Normally he hires hookers to read the lines to him. Because he, uh, he doesn't have time to read. It, it really slows him Okay, down. well, if that's, if that's all you got. Well, that's not, all, that's not all I got. That's the best. That's the best. What's the worst? Well, actually, yeah, I have had a lot of trouble uh, casting the lead role, James Bond. It's a James Bond film. Oh, James Bond. Uh, he's only uh, a little bit taller than three feet. He has an unusually large head, which uh, I that's, think that's would be not very really. That's not really a bonus, though. That's just it, maybe it just uh, an worse. African James Bond would really uh, speak to the times we're living in right now. So you want someone who's white that speaks. Hey, do you not represent Jonathan Bainbridge? Uh, that's Jonathan Brainbridge. Is that the one that has the uh, the inner ear infection? I don't know. Does he have an inner ear infection? No, he doesn't. Well, then why'd you bring it up? There you go. So you got uh, I don't remember bringing that well, up. Well, I'm going to need to know now because he has to pass a physical if he's going to be in the film. The physical and... shouldn't be any problem as long as there's no doctors involved. Barney Manor was actually first uh, built back in, uh, I think it was maybe probably 1852. Uh, many of the um, appliances are still original. As we see, we have the, uh, well, saying that, that's probably Art Deco. We had to disconnect the electricity here. That must have here. been replaced back in the early 19, 19, uh, 2000s, probably. But basically, Barnley Manor is is just me and my thoughts, my acting. These are all original wood, or original banisters. This is dark mahogany wood. This is, this comes from the uh, I think it's um the it's rainforest. All brought down here. This is where it happens. This is Jonathan Bain. Um, Somewhere like that, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere where wood comes from. Um, Derek, if you'd like to sit in the master chair there, Derek. Uh, is there enough light on my face? Just unbelievable luck that you could find an actor like that who would look so much like the real James, James Bond. Bond. Who doesn't want to play Ian Fleming's character? I've got all the books. I studied them. You know. Every little boy's fantasy. I mean, it's one thing to read the novels and picture Connery, but you're only picturing Connery because you've seen those films so many times. My, uh, my favorite James Bond is Casino Royale with Peter. If you read Ian Fleming's you know, words, this man is James Bond. He's exactly how he would look. He's suave, sophisticated. He's, you know, he's getting laid every day. He's just yeah, let's cut. what you picture Bond James Bond being. Maybe we we'll get one of my. Uh, Did you don't like the light? What's, no. What's wrong with it? Uh, it looks blemishes on me. Let's cut. Can we can we turn this off, please? I'm just thinking that a, a role like this, it's 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 made some stars in its time, and certain people that have gotten really famous from this role. And I was wondering if you were you were prepared for that, and how do you prepare for that? Preparing is an actor's secret. You see. Um, you never 
give away your secret. <laughs> Acting, fame, it's all part of the uh, of an actor's life, really. I, I'm quite used to being in the spotlight, as they like to say. You know, most actors, they want to put on a beanie and walk down the coffee shop with a paper under their arm. Me, chuck me in a limo. Dress me up like this and I'm happy. Give me some black magic chocolates. Life would be beautiful like this every Being day. Being an actor, I live it. It's my life. You know, I was born to play this. Ian Sir Fleming Jimmy. wrote the book. He knew who he was looking at. He was looking at me. Okay, Jonathan so Bates. Speaking with a few of your uh, representatives, I don't want to give away any names, but um, you'll have to pass. Uh, a medical for this uh, for this film uh, for purposes of insurance and uh, one of them mentioned to me something about uh, uh, an ongoing inner ear infection and I was just wondering if you have any any comments yeah let me stop you there um, okay. I don't feel comfortable talking about this while the doctor you came coming. looking for me Derek I didn't come looking the for inner ear infection yes I do have a balancing problem Okay, some, it's, I think it's because I eat rich food. That is the main thing. Put me to the test. Take me out there. Let me do my job. Let me show you that I can be James Bond. I'm just going to uh, gargle some TCP. The sound of this voice, his physique, the way he dresses. 